Protesters besieged the force headquarters, demanding justice be served on Senator Ishaku Abu, a senator accused of physically assaulting a woman in a shop in Abuja. Section 263 subsection and Section 240 of the Penal Code Act condemns the assault by Senator Elisha Abu as a misdemeanor that is punishable with two years imprisonment. Our crew went to the venue of the assault, a shop located at the Banex Plaza in Wusei 2. This is the actual store where the incident happened. And according to the people who have stores on this floor, uh, they're saying this incident didn't happen many years ago. They're saying it's something that happened a month or two months ago. And contrary to the report given to us by the senator, those who have shops on this floor say he walked in here with three women. The lady was telling him that she's on call, that she should wait for, let her talk to her husband first. So suddenly they, the man started beating the girl. So, and pushing the girl, her friend, her friend came to rescue the lady and she the senator started beating the girl. At the police headquarters, the public relations officer speaks to us on the stand of the police force on the matter and what actions will be taken regarding the actions and inactions of the police officers in the viral video. We have commenced investigations into the incident. Our investigation will be holistic. We are looking at every facet of that incident. We will carry out a forensic analysis of the video. We will look at the, 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 the conduct of the senator. We will also look at the actions and inactions of the policeman that was spotted in that video. At a press briefing in the PDP Secretariat in Abuja, the senator apologizes to Nigerians for his actions and for insulting their sensibilities. I personally apologize to Bibra and her family for my actions. No matter what you did to me, you don't deserve such treatment. I am sorry. Though he's not a direct beneficiary of the Not Too Young to Run movement, on the group's Twitter feed, they condemn the assault, calling it an egregious violation of human rights. The police cannot give a definite timeline on when the investigations will be concluded. They say Nigerians should be assured that justice will be served soon. Kayla Magua, Channel Television News.